Hi guys, hoping you're doing well. It's a little big sister here, Kisha Nyambura. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. Yeah, I'm back with you know who it is, or rather, you know what it is the series, the amazing wise journal thoughts. Ah, wise thoughts from my yellow notebook, or something like that. It's been that long <laughs> that had in a confused genius series, yango. but anyway. This is a series on here where we get to explore different topics from my wise yellow notebook and we get to like expound the different quotes that are found here because if you haven't watched my other videos go back watch it and you will get the context of what I'm trying to do but basically they are random conversations and we get the status of those conversations from this book Ikona footnotes of different quotes from different people all over the world so we have talked about love we have talked about nature we have talked about trees and so many other stuff so yeah go back and watch it before you come to this one today's quote as i was looking for it because is a bit of the technology and i'm not very tech savvy but for this one it really caught my attention it's very deep haha <laughs> you know me with the deep stuff it's deep but at the same time, it's about the environment, it's about plants, but it may not seem deep, but it's deep. Yeah, and it's from someone from Winnie the Pooh, either the creator, one of the voice actors, the person who we are going to uh, discuss their thoughts on is called eo i don't know how to spell this you can tell me in the comment section below how this is pronounced double e y o r e eo from a a miles winnie the pooh yeah and today's quote from my wise yellow journal wise yellow notebook is weeds are flowers too once you get to know them weeds are flowers too once you get to know them and I was saying it's about plants it's about mother nature and it's deep at the same time it's like self-explanatory but deep in a way that it's very reflective once you like start to ponder on those words so first thing that came to mind was people yes we're talking about weeds but uh, my profession that I'm training to work in deals with people it's a social science yeah and for my future, like whichever field I will find myself in, I believe that my psychology knowledge will prove useful. And I would like to put that into creative means in like understanding people and getting to do my job in the best way possible. Because the knowledge that I have from psychology, it boosts my EQ, my emotional intelligence. Therefore, I tend to like think about how people act, how they behave in their relationships. With other people a lot so weeds in this concept are people and flowers too are people because in Asema weeds are flowers too once you get to know them and I think it's very similar to the proverb like don't judge a book by its cover and you won't really get to know what a person is all about from the first impression you can get a glimpse or you can get a stereotype based on maybe how they look and how they are talking or how they carry themselves you can get a glimpse of who they are but their entirety as a person you need to sit down and interact with them I'ma watch them do something I'ma be in their presence continuously so that you can really get to know ah yeah Kisha is this way she's this type of a person she has she is an ENFP or stuff like that like you need to have the advantage of time to get to really know someone and I know you can know someone and you can know about someone in some instances like even in the first interaction you can know someone and then later you get to know things about them but to the core you can't really expect to know someone on face value just on the first day or even in the first week or even in the first month of your interaction with them yes so like with is gonna bad rap with ni bad vibes weeds they 
limit other people and they limit other plants growth and they're not good you're supposed to root them out and stuff but i think if you put weeds in an environment where hakuna chakula hakuna plants like hakuna beans maize like hakuna kitchen garden where you're trying to flourish and get crops from they are actually good like some weeds actually smell nice some weeds actually look good and some weeds actually look like flowers and others actually produce the flowers others produce fruits that may be used for either making like chemicals and stuff like i'm imagining like sodo maple maybe can be useful for something don't eat it though but it might be useful for something and like if i'm not wrong mexican marigold the smell can be used for something because it has a pungent smell but so i'm sure maybe it has a use yeah and those are examples of weeds so i'm thinking in an environment where weeds has a jawekwana has a grow in between a garden or a shamba and you're in a quite used for food production they are actually useful on their own in a place where they can't stifle the growth of others so i think we are very quick to give stereotypical bad things a bad rep a bad reputation in terms of like we write off people based on stereotypes because stereotypically weeds are bad but i'm thinking weeds have uses or like they have purpose i will research and if i do get it i'ma put it on here but i'm thinking like god made weeds like god made everything in this earth that is coming from the earth like we till the land though we don't like go kwa shop unasema eh hey, nipatie seeds za uh, mexican marigold ama the oxalis but they grow and i want to believe that god knew weeds would exist and they are there for a reason and so in the right context in the right environment they're actually good for us and if you really like are keen or like do your research you can actually like or investigate you can actually like find something useful to do with weeds so in the context of people i'm thinking like stereotypically let us not be quick to label and to like associate the prejudice that comes with a stereotypical label like sajiki queers are like this lowers are like this uh cambas and lawyers and like or like people from this estate or like people from this university and stuff like let's get to know people like they can be beautiful with time and not to say that like you get yourself hurt in the process of like believing in bad people or you see a good in them but like let us take time to to see deeper than the surface because like when you get to know someone like just like the way kuna kongana watu wa z but they also have close people in their lives and uh, those close people in their lives wanna wanna like they're amazing people and then outside people who do not have a relationship with these bad people look like hey how is nani your friend how is x your friend like he's so bad ama she's so bad and she's like this but i believe there's beauty in everything not just what is conventionally thought to be beautiful and therefore weeds are flowers too once you get to know them so yeah food for thought yeah those were my rambling thoughts <laughs> my thoughts on that quote so yeah many more uh, videos are to come on this series on my thoughts from my YC notebook and yeah get to share this and i hope this has sparked something in your day that you should give the things you wouldn't normally think twice about give them a chance yeah so go and get a bouquet of weeds today <laughs> anyway i'm just joking have a wonderful week and god bless you